if I crawl underneath the truck because the road's actually dry. I've already got a new hose barb in it. It rubbed up and sat up against this daggone exhaust. Well, y'all, we are here at the Petro in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. On my way back, I unloaded. Had to heat up that truck. I crawled underneath the truck because the road's actually dry. I'm trying to get it back before I go do a reset because the road's gonna be wet there. It's supposed to be raining down there for the next two days. So I need to do it up here in Pennsylvania. I found the glitch, y'all. I'm gonna show you. And as I showed y'all the other day, when I opened this heater valve this inside line right here, it was pouring from all right here. So we have found it. It's the line, I got it tucked and pulled right there. Put it up here so it wouldn't drain. I've already got a new hose barb in it, but the clamps that the Loves brought me, they did not fit, they were too freaking small. So I had to come up here to the shop and get some new clamps. Let me see if I can find that original piece and I will show you what happened. Here's the piece I cut off. I cut it off right there. But you can see where she split. See that mark right there? The line was pushed up on the top of the exhaust up here, just above this heat shield. So instead of these coolant lines being snugged down, they were up high. So it rubbed up and sat up against this daggone exhaust until it actually melted right here and then eventually causing it to split. So I've got the hose cut here. I've got the hose cut on this end. I'm just trying to keep the coolant because as I lowered it down some, the coolant started draining a little bit out of the line. Same thing with this one. As long as I'm keeping them right around here, we're okay. They're, they're not draining. But if I dip it down to here to work on, they start draining so I got tied up. So this was the problem, y'all. So we do got the hose barb. Had to come here to the TA. Got me some new, fresh, bigger clamps that'll actually work. So we fixing to put these on and man, hopefully we will be good to go then. And I've got more coolant to add to it. Because once I open these lines, it's going to take at least probably three more gallons of coolant. So, we'll see y'all. All right, everybody. You probably cannot hear me good, but we are fixed. The truck's running, circulating coolant. I've been letting it run here for about five minutes. There are no drips. So, everything is good. That is fixed. I brought four of those clamps. I'd actually have two spares. 1094 for the clamps. So, hey. We are fixing to get this sucker to go get a shower and get it rolling, y'all. Well, y'all, it's a little quieter in here. Okay. The truck is now fixed. My APU's running fine. Everything is good to go. Thank you, Jesus. We got it all fixed. Like I said before, I don't know if you could hear me up under there, but somehow the line, even though it was tie strapped, it had come up against on top of the heat shield up against the exhaust stack well exhaust running down so that actually melted into the hose a little bit enough to where it weakened it where it finally freaking split open so we cut cut off ends on both sides put a hose barb in between new fresh hose clamps it's been running for 30 minutes no drips no leaks now it is time for a shower now, when I go back down to Ohio for a reset, I don't have to work on the truck. Truck's done, everything else, because then I'm not resetting where there's a shower. So I get my shower today, and then I'm good. You know, as truck drivers, we can baby wipe, you know, on the day that we're off on a reset, whatever. We're not really going to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and drop the trailer, run to Walmart, get my stuff, run to Lowe's, get me a thermal laser heat gun. So I can measure the temperature of the product and then go back, hook up to the trailer, and then I'm done until, you know, until after my reset. So, whew. 
Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to have the, the little bit of know-how to save me some money to fix this stuff. Anytime y'all can do anything on your truck yourself, you are worth it to do it. I don't, I'll admit, I don't mess with brakes or motor or anything like that. I don't deal with that, but, you know, simple stuff, shocks, a little bit of things here and there, a little cosmetic stuff, a little tiny little, you know, tracing things like freaking air governors and changing out air dryers and things like that, shocks and all that, that I can do. But when it comes to a motor, I'm not touching the motor, y'all. Anyway, y'all, we hope everybody has y'all a good, safe, blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video, y'all. Peace out. Bye. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair And you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short